Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The world has witnessed the first use of hypersonic missile KH-47M2 by Russia on Ukraine. Russia has developed three hypersonic missiles which are Avangard Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Hypersonic Glider, the Kinzhal Air-Launched Hypersonic Ballistic Missile and Zircon Hypersonic Cruise Missile. China as well has leapfrogged in doing successful run of first hypersonic weapon. China has also developed the DF-17 hypersonic missile which has a hypersonic glider warhead on top of a regular ballistic missile. The Chinese DF-17 is a combination of Chinese short-range ballistic missile DF-16B and hypersonic glide vehicle DF-ZF tested almost nine times. Instead of normal warhead or MIRV of a conventional ballistic missile, DF-17 uses hypersonic glide vehicle DF-ZF which follows a suppressed and lower altitude trajectory. This makes their detection even more difficult than MIRV warhead. Back in 2018, China's National University of Defense Technology had displayed a hypersonic missile in public for first time which was called Lingyun-1 which uses a scramjet engine which China was known to have developed and tested in 2015. The speed greater than 5 times the speed of sound or Mach 5 is called hypersonic speed. Hypersonic weapons are extremely difficult to detect and counter given this weapon's speed, maneuverability, low flight paths and unpredictable trajectories. While traditional intercontinental ballistic missiles follow relatively predictable up and down trajectory, hypersonic weapons are maneuverable and can fly at altitudes where few military sensors and radars are monitoring. They can conceivably be deployed from land, air and sea. While most of the ballistic missiles are able to achieve hypersonic speed at terminal stage, but they are not hypersonic missiles because of their typical and predictable predetermined parabolic path. To track hypersonic missiles, military would need space-based sensors capable of tracking hypersonic weapons and over-the-horizon radar which can detect objects around the curvature of the Earth. Now there are two types of hypersonic cruise missiles which are powered by air-breathing ramjet, scramjet or dual-mode ramjet DMRJ engine and second one is hypersonic glide vehicles which can reach orbit with a conventional booster before gliding towards a target. A ramjet is a form of air breathing jet engine that uses vehicle's forward motion to compress incoming air for combustion without a rotating compressor. Fuel is injected in the combustion chamber where it mixes with the hot compressed airs and ignite. A ramjet powered vehicle requires an assisted takeoff like a rocket to accelerate it to a speed where it begins to produce thirst or starts working. Ramjet works most efficiently at supersonic speed around Mach 3 and can operate up to speeds of Mach 6. However, the ramjet efficiency starts to drop when the vehicle reaches hypersonic speeds. This is where scramjet comes into picture. A scramjet engine is an improvement over the ramjet engine as it efficiently operates at hypersonic speeds and allows supersonic combustion. These engines do not work in stall condition and need to be first carried at supersonic speed to make them work. Thus, it is known as supersonic combustion ramjet or scramjet. Now let's talk about various hypersonic missile program on which India is working and development made so far on these. But before we discuss further, it's important to note that for any hypersonic missile program, the wind tunnel test facility is key to it. India at present operates approximately 12 hypersonic wind tunnels and is capable of testing speeds of up to Mach 13. To start with, we will first talk about one of the earliest scramjet technologies which was developed by ISRO. An important development in scramjet engine occurred on August 20th, 2016 when ISRO successfully flight tested its scramjet making India fourth country to demonstrate the flight testing of a scramjet engine. The maiden short duration experimental test of ISRO's scramjet engine achieved a hypersonic flight at Mach 6. 
ISRO's Advanced Technology Vehicle ATV, which is an advanced sounding rocket, was solid rocket booster used for this test of scramjet engine at supersonic conditions. In a recent interview, the DRDO chief has also said that DRDO is also working on this scramjet engine and materials required for it and various thermodynamic aspects of the system. DRDO is working on the materials which can withstand the thermodynamic stress in the hypersonic vehicles. India has also collaborated with Russia on development of BrahMos 2 hypersonic cruise missile with a maximum speed between Mach 7 to 8 and range over 1000 km. The BrahMos 2 is supposed to be powered by an air-breathing scamjet engine. It's been also speculated that Russian Zikron missile technology might be used in BrahMos 2. Although BrahMos 2 was initially intended to be fielded in 2017, news reports indicate that program faces significant delays and is now scheduled to achieve initial operation capability between 2025 and 2028. Now, DRDO is also developing Rudram 3, which is a hypersonic aero ballistic missile. The missile will have a length of 6 meter, diameter of 0.5 meter, and weigh close to 1.6 tons with maximum speed of Mach 5. Its range will be between 500 to 1000 km, however it is not yet confirmed. The missile is designed to destroy the hardened nuclear facilities, military installation and for anti-ship role. The missile will be capable of carrying warhead of 200 kgs. It can be considered as an air-launched ballistic missile like Russian Kinzhal missile. Much of the details on Udram 3 remain under the curtain. India is also developing an indigenous, dual-capable hypersonic cruise missile as a part of its hypersonic technology demonstration vehicle program or HST-DV program and successfully tested a Mach 6 scramjet engine in June 2019 and September 2020. HST-DV is an unmanned scramjet vehicle with the capability to travel at a speed of Mach 6. In the test conducted by DRDO in 2020, it was able to successfully demonstrate the hypersonic air breathing scramjet technology with the flight test of HST-DV. The hypersonic cruise vehicle was launched using a proven solid rocket motor which took it to an altitude of 30 km where the aerodynamic heat shields were separated at hypersonic Mach number. The cruise vehicle separated from the launch vehicle and the air intake opened as planned. The hypersonic combustion sustained for more than 20 seconds and the cruise vehicle continued on its desired flight path at a velocity of Mach 6 or nearly 2 km per second. In summary, the scramjet engine was flight tested for 20 seconds achieving the speed of Mach 6. Now with the induction of Shore in October 2020, India became third country after Russia and China to have deployed hypersonic weapon. SHOR is a canister launched hypersonic surface to surface ballistic missile developed by DRDO and has a reported range between 700 to 1900 kilometers. The missile is capable of carrying nuclear as well as conventional warhead varying from 250 kgs to 1 ton. It is also speculated as the land version of submarine launched Sagrika K-15 missile, though officially it has been denied by DRDO. Shorya falls into hypersonic missile category due to its pseudo-ballistic trajectory. After taking off and reaching a height of about 50 km, the missile starts flying like a hypersonic glide vehicle. Once it reaches the target area, it maneuvers towards the target before striking with an accuracy of 20 to 30 meters within the target area. Now this month, the Ministry of Defense has put hypersonic glide vehicle under Make 1 category, which means it will be funded up to 70% of total cost of development of the prototype. This opens the door for private firms towards the development of hypersonic technologies. At present, the HTNP industry is the only startup working on the hypersonic glider called HGV202F. The hypersonic glider vehicle HGV202F is mounted on a booster rocket or an ICBM. Like a payload on a conventional rocket, the booster takes it to the required altitude 
in the range of 60 to 100 plus kilometers and provides the initial orientation and the speed. The HGV then abandons the expanded booster and re-enters the atmosphere and performs a high degree pull-up maneuver to enter the glide phase and finally the terminal trajectory. HGV 202F is an unpowered gliding body and uses aerodynamic forces to glide towards the target with a speed of Mach 10 plus which is five times the existing cruise missile and much more maneuverable than existing ballistic re-entry vehicles or MIRVs. STM Industries have also presented a mock-up of HGV 202F at Aero India 2021. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.